Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Guys, if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, make sure you join the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. You do have to be 18 years or old, older to join. Also, you can get your merch by also a link in the Chatterbox. And guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so. Instagram is one of the places where I post my dolls for sale. And now, <laughs> without further ado, hello, Lola's. <laughs> I tried to get faster at that. That's just a lot to say. So I am here with my latest painting. Um, she is Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. And I wanted to paint her in a chocolate skin tone. I am really in my feelings because I am not sure how to let her go. So she is sitting here in a dilemma because I am deciding, I'm trying to paint another baby and decide who goes for hair. Okay, so here's the weird thing about me. My babies tend to stay bald. And the longer they stay bald, the longer they stay in my collection because once they get rooted, they get hair, they're an easy sell and they tend to get sold, usually. But I do have ones like Katie Lou has, which has been here for um, over a year now. And she is bald. I have not had her rooted yet, but I am. I'm going to have her rooted. Um, but um, this baby, I have the Caucasian version painted by another artist um, of her. But I really, really, um, really, really fell in love with her. I really love the sculpt. I love how petite she is. And to me, she's like more of a true size of a newborn baby. Because a lot of times we say, oh, these babies are newborn. But they're not really newborn size. So anyway, without further ado. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how she's going to come across um, on camera. Because this is my first time really trying to do this with her. But I like to give my babies, and everybody have their own different style of painting. But with my ethnic babies, I do, I do all my babies with texture. and But I like to do like this, what I call a healthy skin glow. To where the baby doesn't look ashy. I mean, you know, if you've been around, like if you're an aunt, cousins, mom, whatever. And you've been around real babies, particularly African American babies. The first thing we do is lotion them babies down. We be lotioning them up. We don't want them to be ashy. So she has a tummy plate. And I, I actually like this tummy plate. I had it on the other baby. And I don't know. Maybe. I don't know why. But maybe it was the way that I. When I baked it. I kind of kept it where it bends really good. So it really connects around her whole cloth. Not the whole thing, but enough to where you don't have to worry about the sides. So I really like that. And she did, does have a cute little um, belly button. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's her little belly button. So um, it's not anatomically correct. She has the one little wrist. And I did do a little lighter in the, the, the hands. But not too light to where it's like jumping off the page. Um, so let's turn her around. And she has softly painted eyebrows. She does not have her eyelashes yet. Um, just because when I send, if I send them off to be rooted, I don't root the eye, eyelashes. I let them root it. If I don't send them off to be rooted and I do them as a ball baby, I root the eyelashes myself. Um, and I have learned how to do the eyelashes even a little better now. Um, so that's my thing. But I just wanted to show her. This is the bottom of her feet. She is, I believe she's, the sculpt is like 18 inches. I think it says 18, 18 inches or something like that. She does have some detailing in her. She's not a flat color. She has some little modeling. She has a very subtle, subtle vein in her tummy. Um, did I give her a vein? I sometimes I give them a vein in their foot. Yeah, she does. And she kind of, does she have, uh, something, I didn't do a lot of veining on her. 
for some reason. I'm not a big fan. I did lightly tip her fingernails, but I did it with a very natural color and barely there because I don't think babies have French manicures at this age. Um, I tried to do the palm of her hands very subtle and um, they kind of match inside my hand. But that was my thing. I have not really glossed her lips because I didn't think she really needed. Let me see how she looks. The more light that you have on my babies because of their natural glow thing, it kind of makes them look a little bit even more like shiny than what they are. I don't do all of them as gloss. I felt like her face might have been a little bit more gloss than I normally do but i'm kind of torn in between going and toning it down or leaving it as because it looks very natural as long as she's not on camera but when she's on camera it looks a little too gloss and but the thing is if i take it down i don't want to take it down too much so so i'm still torn on that as well but i, I may play with it and go in i'll think about it and if I do it, I'll do it like today or tomorrow. I'll go in and do, I'll probably leave her nose in certain stuff areas and just go in and, and tone it down just a little because as you can see, like the rest of her is a little less, but when you see it, it's like she has these little pores and stuff. I don't know, it's just really like a, it just looks like skin in person. So, hang on. So I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I don't know if I want to bother it. I just, I'm, I think she's so cute. I really like her. So the thing about these, so she can, if she's now without the tummy plate, and this is her tummy plate. I don't know if you guys can, let me see what you guys can see. This is her tummy plate. This is how it goes. So this is her tummy plate. And she did, I don't know how that got there. It's like a little slit right there. Poor baby. But it doesn't affect the tummy plate. But as you can see, the tummy plate has like a very like a healthy skin glow so she and she looks so good in my arms because her color like really balances with my color so like this this is her like she is so to me I just think she's so adorable I think I I've really nailed the color on this and I love the the colors in her ears and stuff like that I was really really happy about her I, I spent quite a bit of time painting on this baby I've been painting on this baby for a while so um, I was careful with her creases and all that stuff. So I was really, I'm really proud of her, how she turned out. And I really, I'm thinking I'm not going to bother her because I actually like her look a lot. Um, she's a little different skin tone. I hadn't did this skin tone before. So I really like this skin tone. She's like a cinnamon. I don't know, but it's, it's a. She's a brown, but you know, when babies are younger, their color has, you know, there's a newborn brown and then there's a infant brown, a toddler brown, and a grown person brown. You know, I, it cracks me up sometimes when I see people, you know, that have, you know, we're already starting to get the spider veins and the um, discoloration in your skin and all that and you hold it up to the baby like oh she matched the baby i'm like great she matched a hundred year old woman skin tone i mean no offense to anyone but i'm just saying i <laughs> i i do know my color but i don't try to match my babies to my actual color color per se um because newborns coloring and an adult coloring is very different but you know what i'm saying i hope you do anyway and hopefully no one's taking that offense <laughs> but i have a way, weird way of offending people 
but yeah so that's her little tummy plate but I, I I like her with it on and off but I also try to weight her really good too to where she's very fluid and that's her little and her head is painted really nice too she does have some veining in her head and she has some modeling she has um so yeah she does have some detail in her head as well so she works really well as just a ball baby as well because of that so I don't know I don't know if I'll sell her I may keep this one and move on to the next one and sell that one so I'm, I'm just really on the fence and I have to be careful when I send my babies out for rooting because um, I need to send the ones that I'm going to sell out, not ones that I'm going to keep <laughs> first, especially, you know, like right now I'm trying to, you know, sell a few babies and I don't want to waste my rooting up on myself because I can always wait to get mine rooted. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should keep her. I don't know, but this is her next to my little peanut. I told y'all my peanut is here. In every setting <laughs> I'm not joking when I say that she's everywhere I'm watching her while I'm doing the video so so that's my little peanuts their colors are so to me lifelike I, I love it I love this hand I love this little dainty hand it's just like I love this hand like I gave her like a bruising in her hand right here a little bit like not bruising but the veining and the, the different colors that newborns have in their wrist from them being poked and stuff like that. I don't know, but I thought, man, I love these two together. So I was thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. So that's that's them. And as you can see, like the coloring is a little different with their their feet and stuff because they're, they're different skin tone babies. I will be actually honest, she has more detail in her like as far as the modeling part go, um, then my little peaches and cream baby right here. She has more detail in her tummy plate, I think. I don't know, maybe not. But nevertheless, like I said, they, they are, so as you can see, she's bigger than her. This is, she is a real preemie preemie. <laughs> And this is like a small newborn. See, if you want to see the size difference. Oh, I love my little Lily. <laughs> I don't know. So let me see if I take some of this light off of them. The light is, I don't know. But yeah, what you see? Oh my goodness. I just think they're so cute. So yeah. Let's turn this light off. So now we're actually in a dark room with just my lights. Just kind of trying to give you guys an idea of the skin tones. The babies. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna turn the light on and light off. Light on and light off. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I'm not a magician or nothing like that, but that's her feet. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing these babies, and I will see you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.